I want to welcome you specially to your daily program of Glorious Vision Television. Couples Angat is the show. Uh, like the show we say with the bring husband and wife. Where we both they call couple. Uh, and this is we go couple together. Uh, let no man put asunder. Now so they be every Sunday, 5 30 to 6 30 p.m. And uh, if you want to be part of this show, uh, don't hesitate to call our number. The number that is showing on your screen right now. Or maybe you want to sponsor in the name of your family, uh, in the name of your church or uh, organization. Uh, don't hesitate. Or maybe uh, and a shout out. Now you want to, uh, maybe you want to wish uh, people happy birthday. <laughs> oh, uh, happy wedding anniversary. And all of them, we they do on top of this show. So please use the number that you are seeing on the screen, and at the same number we are using uh, for uh, WhatsApp. So my name is Franco Luca Adejo, aka Omoyeron, the Evangelist of Comedy. And right there with Pamoy, MC, commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Don't laugh. Fool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I always talk, say, no food for a lazy man. You know, because I pick it when mama get restaurant. Uh, no be who first call police. Now in the weak case. I don't come, I don't come. Very beautiful guest. Where I get today? Jesus. Oh, a, 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 a darling daughter of mine. <laughs> but I know they do like this. Uh, and she's my daughter. Uh, with a handsome husband. We did together today. You go hear story. Though they are young couples, so uh, I know say a lot of people don't they complain. Say ah, ah I'm on a waiting up now. Oh 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 couple. Now you they bring bring a uh, young couples too. Now may we hear their experience. So today I have a young couple. Uh, they are already. Oh my God, they don't balance already. They don't gallant already. Uh, but before we introduce them, eh? They can go for short break. When I come back, eh? I'm my guest. Now you guess. I did come back. Your first year in marriage? Ah, it was a great experience. <laughs> Before I got married, Whoa. when I see couples, Whoa. the way they do, I imagine, ah, kilo leni no marriage. I mean, that's if you a good You bring up your mag big point, then why are all these fights? I mean, just man and woman, when they live together, they together. Ah, she probably live with my sister, my brothers. Oh. So how come it's not? But get in there. Enter? It's a great experience. <laughs> Then I now look more handsome. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I want to say clap for you. <laughs> when okay. I was still searching, hmm. I had one or two people that I was dating. No, okay. I was dating them, two people like that. Hmm. But anytime they come to my house, they will never, they will not take care of it. Be my shishen on loche mawa. Imagine. So the I, the first time my wife came to my house, the question she asked was that, "Are you married? How many children do you have?" Mari bibao. <laughs> she was like, ah, look at the way your house is. Look ah. at the way you do not know how to live in the house. But today came one shock in Jad in Temini. Can you imagine? Could you believe some months after people that came to my house, you know, you have to go to the house. You have to go to the house. Chai! So that was why they gave my wife. Log on to the house. <laughs> Are you I mean? mean so she transformed everything. Can you imagine? She changed everything. So that was the day that I, ah, this is my wife. Oh. <laughs> okay, I want you to watch that screen now. See. So let's see this guy before before he marry. <laughs> <laughs> see how, see, look, watch him. <laughs> Are you serious? 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 <laughs> Mr. Now you ask. So if this guy talks to you like this, you go agree. No. <laughs> Is that a, okay? Uh, now let's see the transformation now. Oh, let's clap for this woman. You try. You try. You try. You try. You try. You try. Okay. <laughs> In the book of life, our names are written 
every deed, every word, we will stand before the throne. We will be judged by our work, by our love for the things of God. We will give account of our lives in every way. How do you want to be judged? Join us at the Apostolic Church, Nigeria, Lona International Convention Grant, along with K2, Oworosho Kibado Expressway, Lagos, Nigeria, and on all GVTV social media platforms. For the 48th Annual Lona International Convention, from the 3rd over 9th, August 2024. The anointed men of God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we will be dishing out the undiluted word of God and also in prophecy. It is my will that you should prepare the mind of my people for my second coming. On the theme, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Are you ready to appear before the righteous judge? The devil cannot cast away the devil. Paul said, I am crucified with the Lord. Believe me because I have the mark of Jesus. The word apostolic stems from the word the apostle. By the faith of the Father, you have been drawn and pulled to Christ. This convention will transform you. This convention will uplift you. And trust me, it's going to be powerful. This convention is going to be very interesting. <laughs> Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. You can't afford to miss it. Don't miss it, oh. Don't, Don't miss, miss it. Miss it. Welcome back. Uh, uh, viewers at home, because you are just joining us, uh, you never miss still couples hang out uh, with Omoero and uh, uh, you know, say that marriage story and uh, I will talk about here. Uh, people will be saying they never marry, mean they know what they want to enter, uh, people will they enter, mean they know how they do, you know. They, uh, <laughs> the beggar with the marriage, everything I will talk about for here. So now, uh, I told you, I say I have a very beautiful uh, couple with me today. And uh, they are so young, uh, they, know, they never have 50 years in marriage or 28, uh, but they are just uh, maybe quarter to two cents. <laughs> so, viewers at home, permit me to introduce to you uh, my guest uh, for the week, the couple uh, of the week, Mr. and Mrs. Akinton, Mr. Olamilekon Akinton, and uh, Mary, make I call your Christian name today for the first time. <laughs> Mary Anu Oluapo Akito, aka Alpha B. Yes, sir. Alpha B. Very beautiful mama. So, you are welcome, sir. Bros. Welcome. And uh, happy. I know say your your picking. I know, you know, say there's, there, there's different between picking and shite. Uh, your own and a shite. Because now, but if you see chick. <laughs> Uh, people like uh, Satina and Apiki. Uh, <laughs> so you are welcome. How are you today? Very well, we thank God. It's been going great. Uh, anu? Very well too. I want, to, I want to thank you for coming on the show. Uh, now, I told people that um, you are just you are young uh, in the marriage. So now they want to know how many years. This is where they call young, 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 young now. How many years now? Uh, we are just a year and a half. Yes. Yeah, now sometimes be like <laughs> be like ten years to some people. Yeah, but uh, well, it's not a matter of the length. So uh, being a year and a half, and um, being ten years and whatever, all of them nasty years. Yeah. Even now two weeks. Even now two weeks exactly. Uh, marriage now experience. Yeah, uh, well, of course, obviously, and uh, it now depends on the kind of experiences people have that are in there. All the experience where you don't gather now. And for the past one and a half years now, everything today, the world is waiting to, to hear from you. Abina. So now let's let, let let's start from your wedding day. Make us start from here because now women they carry you wedding for her, you know. <laughs> your wedding day now, eh? Before the day, during the day, after the day. What happened? How did that? 
the same questions for you. So what happened on that day that you cannot forget? What happened on the wedding day that I cannot forget is the fact that I told myself that regardless of any complaint, regardless of whether um, they see food chop or they don't see food chop, or, I will just be happy. Mm. So I just <laughs> even if people complain, they food, no they. I have told myself already that I would just enjoy the moment and just be happy. And truly, throughout that day, I was just happy that I'm getting married to my darling sweetest. The way you call herself. <laughs> so, but was there any complaint that, uh, ah, I know we don't see food shop, we you know? Mm, there was no complaint really about that. There was no food, but, you know, there will be like, uh, serve your first, serve their first, you know. Mm. Those glitches were there actually. So because we later heard that later, it was not as if, like I said, I didn't hear anything. I didn't even see people's faces. Whether their faces was, you know, was one kind. All I know was that I was just enjoying every part and you know every moment of the wedding day. So it was afterwards I was getting the information that okay, uh, some people said and they didn't serve them on time. So, but later everybody got food. I said okay. Fine, that's good because nobody can spoil my day for me. Yes, I told so. myself. Oh, I like I like that one. Uh, but talking about that food, eh? You know, there's sometimes some couples, the two families will join together, cook food. Some they cook separately. So on your own partner, now joint food na cook. I mean, uh, yeah, actually we did joint food. Yes, that was the initial plan. Then of course you know that. Families will also want to do extra. So the groom side too, they did extra. So we had extra from the groom too. You can come to the extra side now. Uh, so on your own side now, preparing for the wedding, you know, during the day, after the day, or before the day. So what happened that you, you can't forget? Uh, for me, it's, about, it's actually about the, um, the, the hours before the wedding. You know, we oh. have the hours before the wedding. You know, we had, um, I think that was Bachi, or Bachi, that kind of thing, that kind of setting arrangement where friends and, um, well, we were friends, friends gathered and um, my friends, our friends, they gathered in that same, in the room and we had um, conversations, you know, where we had to um, talk about uh, relationship, um, marriage and, you know, we had some, um, we had prayers too, and um, oh, the yes, for the bachi. That, that was because we actually had that planned. Okay. Our friends were specifically chosen for that purpose, oh. you know. So we knew exactly what we wanted. So our bachi was arranged in that order, and um, so for me, it was even about um, the bachi that started the whole event for me, even before um, the morning. So you know that the batch started around. It was that was twelve uh, day about. It was it one day about before we could rest a little before uh, we now started um, before the morning, the wedding um, wedding day itself. So the whole event as it played out, it made it it made a lot of sense for me because that was exactly what I actually wanted. Coupled um, coming from the things I usually hear about batch where you know people do all manner of stuff before the day and all that. So I don't know what guy will drink. Uh, the, the Saturday, the guy sleep off. <laughs> exactly. It's not like we didn't drink, but of course, it's normal water and um, juice. Okay. You know, and then um, add something, little things to eat and all that. So, it made a lot of sense for me. And that was the kind of idea. So, we had to have, have something that was different from the usual that, you know, usually about. So, yeah. This is the first time I'll be hearing that kind of bashifu. Because all the bashifu I know. <laughs> we did our bashifu together, actually. Yeah. We were together. My friends... His friends, me and him, we were together in a room, and that was where we did our batch. So there was no separate, maybe the groom and his friends would be in one separate place. No, we did it together. Is it that you planned it all? Now you say, no, I go do that. No, we planned it and we agreed so, because of who we are, actually. That's interesting. I love that. Too. I know a lot of viewers that are watching now, maybe they will create that idea. You know, okay. Now, before we enter the main gist, go go go. Now, what marriage change you since you don't marry now? As a man, oh, why do you think that marriage? Why are you laughing? <laughs> okay, okay. You know, say the same question for you, Abby. Okay, what marriage not change you? Um, 
spiritually, um, every aspect basically. Uh, spiritually, marriage has made me more um, priestly. You know, you know, you are the priest of your home, and um, it makes you understand that now, no, be, no, be, you are no longer for yourself. You know, so you have a family now. You are thinking family. You are thinking um, your wife. You are, have a daughter. You know, you have children and all that. So if you are one kid now, you go. <laughs> <laughs> you think well before you, you know. <laughs> So it changes that perspective where you just wake up and you just live your life like that. You know, like I've seen where in quotes you are just by yourself, you know, that kind of thing. So it makes me more conscious that, okay, I have a family now and I have to be more responsible even than I used to be, you know. So that, um, that, that perspective and that idea, you know, marriage, has, uh, marriage is making that part of me. You know, one of the days I think I wrote on my status about how that... Um, uh, I was doing, uh, what's it called? I was doing something in the kitchen. You know, I had to do a lot of things in the kitchen even before I could even assist my wife again to do our own work and all that. So at the point, you know, it was kind of, uh, I was not like, nah, this marriage be. <laughs> you will do work, you will work, you will work, you work. Because it was more, it's more or less like me and I in the house. It's not like we had people in the house and all that. So, you know, you have to do the chores, you have to walk, you have to pray, you have to ensure that you have to go out again and go and, you know, do your normal thing as a man. You know, so it just makes you be like, ah, really? <laughs> is this what is all? <laughs> That's what it means. Mama, so on your own side now, what did marriage change? Okay, marriage has uh, made me to be to be more patient, mm. actually, because me. So you know they're patient before. I no, I'm patient. Yes, but I think the fact that I'm married, and you know, I'm someone that I like to confront things. You know, the way I, if I see things now and I don't like it, I will confront you immediately, and you know, just clear the hair. Instead of me just, you know, pretending as though I didn't see it or pretending as though maybe, or let me sweep it under the carpet, no. So, but in marriage, I see that um, it's not everything you complain about because when you complain too much, it looks as though you become a nag. So, there are things I just take my eyes off and there are things I just, okay, instead of me complaining about it, I just swiftly do that thing, you know. Okay just to you know but you won't put it in mind though no i won't put it in mind because that's what marriage has changed in me that okay since this is this person's weakness you can complement with your own strength so i love that <laughs> i love that okay now you are just going to two years now your maybe first months first then i can even say first year because you've passed the year now now your first year eh as a married man, coming from Pashela Hudo. <laughs> so, can you share your some of those funny experiences? Uh, you have to be factual. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's funny, Abby. Uh, people are, you see now, people are, people are here. <laughs> um, where as a bachelor, coming from that aspect, uh, <laughs> like you said, the natural man, natural man is always um, by himself, yes. and the natural man is always like, um, well, I use the word stingy, like okay. you or self. No, let me use the word self. Let me not use stingy. Now. Let me use the word um, selfish. Yeah. That's the word yeah. selfish. That's the word. You know, but um, by uh, getting married, it changes a lot of that perspective because um, you know that. I can't just take decisions like that because there are times you know your finance you want to like they say your money our money all those kind of things which one is my money is i make money i use my money which one is now our money money out <laughs> you understand <laughs> or you have to ask for permission you want to as a young guy you want to step out you need to i don't understand how i want to branch away i have to call and tell you or i got somebody i tell you i've gotten oh, yeah, there yeah. <laughs> you don't understand that kind of thing as a single man as a bachelor you know but Becoming married, you have to now that's okay, this is the way this person thinks. If you don't tell the person that you are in this place at this point, the person might think that you are doing something else somewhere else. Uh -huh. So you have to change I begin to change all of those perspectives and you know change all of those kind of mindset and um, see how I can be more accountable. That's the word. 
how I can more accountable, how I have to um, um, see how I can um, introduce um, ways whereby we can be, we can blend more and you know get to understand ourselves more as regards our personality and uh, who we are. So you know it helps me to also see how um, to become more um, more vul vulnerable. That's the word now. To be more vulnerable as regards um, not just showing all of my weakness, but also um, seeing how I can convert those my um, weakness to strength and see how I can also help her you know becoming what I should also become you know so it helps me um, going all the way from one year it has it can be dramatic it can be it's fun uh, now what to hear like like all those funny experiences in the last one year now some funny experiences at home okay yes funny experiences like taking shower together <laughs> 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 You wanted it, or you don't want it? Um, I can be very shy sometimes, as you guys say. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> okay, but my that. wife, <laughs> okay. but my wife is not that shy. He's not a shy person, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, so, like she wanted you to have a bath together. Exactly. You yeah. call it shy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so that you know. It's not my kind of thing, <laughs> but marriage changes all of that. You know, you know, just that one. I'm saying that you're the bath together. You gotta to cover yourself, <laughs> bros. You know. Okay, okay. And let me. I'm still coming back. Let me. Let me ask your wife because you know, you know, she can talk where well, well. <laughs> Okay. Let me start from where you start before your own experience. Now talking about uh, bathing together. Okay. Say you want anybody, you got the shy. Eh, uh, okay. Um, it started on the day of our wedding, actually, because the wedding night. I mean. The wedding night, because um, prior to that, we. I'll, which word should I use now? Prior to that, we've not done anything of such together. Do you understand? We've never been intimate of such together till on our wedding night. Okay. So on our wedding night was when we want to. You know, I was like, let's have a bed together, and I just saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that. I said, okay, babe, I'm coming. Then, you know, he went in the um, hotel that we lodged. He just went into the bedroom and came back. You know, so I was like, who was, who was he waiting for? But meanwhile, me, I'm already doing my thing. I'm already, you know, ready to have the bed, actually. So... Later, I just joined. So I, I saw the, you know, I saw his moves. So I knew already that. Oh, so I jokingly now said, oh, you are being shy because we want to, let's go. So so that he can just, you know, free up and you know we can just have a bit together. And that was it. <laughs> okay. So now. So since then we've been having a bit together. together actually, yes. Eh? eh? You been now together. Both okay. money. Sometimes maybe if you had to step out before me, but Eve would step out together. We we'll, we'll have our bed together, and at night too we we'll do together. Just do the shy again. No. Which kind of shy? So you don't burn now. Same now. Okay. Now on your own part now, your own first year experience now. Aside uh, what he said, like you know, you are married now. The word that different word entirely. Okay. Then in our first year. I think did I I'm not sure I really see anything anything special from what I've seen before, you know. From knowing him and all of that. Like I said, even from from the day of the wedding night. So there was really no big because after after like a year we were like, okay, let's even let's even review our marriage. Let's see, okay. How has it been so far? Contrary to the to what we hear about marriages that first year used to be tall, first year used to be this and that, you know. Um, first year there will be, you know, so much misunderstanding, so much of quarrels. But it was not so for us actually, to be sincere. It was not so and we're just enjoying every moment and every it's not as though maybe there's a misunderstanding. The thing is that the misunderstanding will not pass that day. Then we will talk about that one. So now your first misunderstanding, you can still remember now. What's the misunderstanding? What's in Kosa? In the marriage? Yes. I'm not sure I remember. Ah, you never quarreled before? No, like I said, we quarreled. But we'll settle. 
but like the story of what happened he knows that when things happen like that misunderstanding when we clear it if you ask me maybe a week after i can't remember what actually happened but if if it was still fresh yes i can tell you you know like the full details in total like even display the way everybody everybody were displaying at that scene but once that that day the third day everything is over i've forgotten i might not have details of it again all right uh, before before my first break now the first place that you set your eyes on her you've not started talking can you remember um we met on facebook we met online so um i was actually looking for a friend okay. yes i was looking for a wife too also yeah but um most importantly i was looking for a friend actually and um i flipped a lot of i sent a lot of free um friend requests and uh, maybe she didn't accept it i think after a long while so <laughs> after god have mercy on me <laughs> wow that you know place, that was the first place yes that was the first place wow and um my profile picture was top notch. Yes, yeah, so yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what 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 happened? Like the first chat. Wow. Uh, okay, the first chat was um engaging. Okay. We talked purpose. So I could actually be um uh, talk- can, can you can you remember the first chat? Like um, the conversation. Because a lot of people believe that there's uh, there's nothing on f- uh, social media. You cannot meet a, a correct woman for social media. Blah blah blah. Okay, the uh, yes, I can remember. Like I said, it was actually on purpose. Uh, we talked on who we are, like what are you into, like uh, what's your purpose, what what is the reason for your existence. Uh, you must have checked our profile. Exactly, exactly, and. Um, and I was able to relate with her based on because me, I'm somebody that if I get to meet a lady, for example, I want to know your content, not necessarily your container. Mm. So I want to know exactly what is inside of you first, so I can know how to appeal to your external. So the, co- the container may be bad, though, but the content, eh? Exactly. You understand? So people uh, get container, good container, and uh, all the package <laughs> joined together. <laughs> Okay. Why, why you saw his uh, request? Why did you accept immediately? Okay, I think uh, on my Facebook I had several friend requests. At that time I had like 800 plus friend requests or more. Okay. So what I do most times is that when I had requests like that, I just look at it and pass sometimes. So after a while I can just say, okay, let me just go back to this friend request. Let me look at their profile because I don't just accept people into my space. Before I do, but later when I changed, I don't anymore. So I began to, you know, scroll through and I was just looking at, I will look at your profile. I will look at some of the things you have post or posted. I will look at um, some of the tags. If you have been tagged to some things, I will look at where you have been mentioned. I will look at some of the comments you have yeah, made. Yeah, MMM, don't tag you. <laughs> <laughs> I be you have been tagged with you and 99 people with masquerades or with whatever. So I look at all those things actually before I accept people. And when I saw his name, not that I knew him, or maybe the name rings, actually, not really. But when I just saw, I, I saw that he was, he was a relationship coach, and he usually posts about relationship content and all of that. So, and prior to that, you know, I had this, um, I had this design in that I'm going to meet my spouse online. I was so sure about that. Okay, but I was so sure that I was going to meet my spouse online. I told him. So, but I don't know the particular um, social media, you know, um, the apps or whatever that I'm going to meet my spouse from. But I was just open-minded. That was it. So, when I checked her, I saw that, okay, his content is relating to who I can even be friends with initially. So... I accepted him and some other person. So immediately I accepted him, he sent me a message. Just like somebody thought it's a mother that has been locked outside, you know, and as you gain entrance like, like this. this. 
so he just sent me hello how are you and you know and you know it was just a brief chat and you have a whatsapp number i said yes i sent him my whatsapp number and sent me a message and lo and behold with that conversation i was like my mind was like okay let me call this guy i was even the one that called him the second day wow first though. yes i was the one that called Bro, him why should call you <laughs> Your mind will melt Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> because of the first chat actually on WhatsApp. So I had to call him. I just said, you know, something in me was saying, hear the voice of this person. So when I called, and sincerely speaking, I was not disappointed with the voice. When I heard, I said, ah, how can a man's voice be this sweet? God. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> so, you know, that, that was just a, a pass on its own, you know couple with his content already i said ah, because somebody cannot be posting what is posting and it will not have depth it will not have wisdom so and afterwards afterwards we're talking you know my time got exhausted and he called back and the conversation you know lasted for more than an hour yes more than uh when he called me back you know we were just talking random we were just talking as though we're talking business we're talking purpose we're talking as though we've met somewhere before so that was it to cut the long story short. That was the connection. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, let me just go for this uh, because uh, <laughs> you'll be like, say, I don't go for a break again. Uh, I just, just go for my last break. I've been hanging out uh, with Mr. and Mrs. Akinto and they have been married for one and a half years. Uh, still counting by the grace of God. Anybody that wants to scatter your marriage, Holy Ghost! Fire! <laughs> so, your fire be like gas. <laughs> Okay, I will be back. We'll talk about uh, marriage challenges. How long have you been married now? 40 years. 40 years in marriage? Yes, yes sir. Blood of God. When we met, it was very fortunate. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, on August 1st. Okay. 1978. Eight. 1978. Jesus. When we got, when we got uh, an appointment. So, because she passed us from... Um, Teacher training college, Shegamu. Okay, okay. I passed out from a um, teacher and um, local, by the local government teacher training college. Okay. In Ibada. Okay. So, on that day, we were given the, the appointment, appointment, appointment letter. letter. Hmm. So, and n- not even know to both of us. Okay. So, we are given, and we should report on that day. Same day. On they give the same, same day. day. We, did, we did not know each other. Okay. At all. We did not know each other. Hmm. So, we went we went to where we want to board with the vehicle okay down to the down to the station at the village oh, i don't no. know him no, before no, no. but no. it's after that we are posted to the same school to the same school on the so same day work. To yes. work to start working <laughs> so, so that day are just uh, we are just working together <laughs> to the village i don't know him before the so, track go yes. we are trekking after, 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 yes. after, after, after we got down at, at the junction at a junction within the within the within the for, within the forest. Uh, so they so we are supposed we, we are told that okay, this is the way to that village that, that we are going. That so we trek together to we that place. Kai, I was going. Probably, are you are you the one going to, in the front of? You are the one. I was going in the front. <laughs> and she was coming I'm coming from the back. She was even to say that ah, what, what kind of this uh, Igbo man that is going to be, <laughs> is going at the front. Uh, you can't leave woman for back. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I did not. I did not. I did not know. I did not know that we are going for to the, the same, same purpose. Can you imagine? So when we get, so we ran to the school. When we get to the village, we ran to the school, and she too ran to the school. Same school. Same yes. school. Hi. And we reported on the same day. Same day. And that was how. The first time you go the see me that. We knew each other. Forty-eighth London International Convention is far approaching. Uh, I hope you'll be there. By His grace, I will. Okay. So, can you remember the team? Hey. The team for the London Convention. Hey. Hey. I can't precisely <laughs> now. I can't. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, man. Daddy, how are you preparing for the coming London International Convention? Uh, we thank God that God has spared our life. We are alive today, and uh, we pray. God will minister to the fathers and uh, to be a glorious uh, day. Uh, can you remember the team for this 48th 
Lona International Convention. In fact, I've had the about it, but unfortunately, I cannot decide it. Okay, that is it. The 48th Lona International Convention is how far approaches just next month, third to ninth. So, can you still remember the team? Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> I, I cannot remember. Mm, I can't remember. And I, I can't, I can't remember, remember it now. You put your problem to learn and watch it and Ah, that's why I learned. Mama, do you know you okay? Yeah, you. That you were on the 29th of this July. Wow. Yes. Just not, I not to go. Put your problem on. <laughs> the team the 48th Lona International Convention. It's Lona International Convention. Uh, I don't know how that one managed to escape my mind. We have played over it. Too. Uh, but I don't know if you can be of help at the beginning. I will be able to catch the remaining one. Hey, it has to do with judgment. Welcome back, uh, viewers at home. In case you are just joining us, ah, you've missed too. <laughs> uh, but uh, the interesting part is that uh, on Thursday uh, by 12 noon, you have grace to watch the repeat broadcast of this particular episode. So I'm still hanging out with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Akinton. And uh, maybe uh, their story inspired you and uh, you want to share your own marriage story with us. Uh, kindly use the phone number you are seeing on the screen right now. It's the same number uh, that we are using for WhatsApp. Or uh, maybe you want to call them. You know now you can't call, <clears throat> but maybe you have one or two questions you want to ask them. Uh, please just send it as SMS. We are going to forward it to them, and they will do justice to that. So welcome back, mm, Mama. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back. So now, Facebook meetings. You know, a, a lot of people don't believe in that. Mm, I, I myself, I met my wife on, online too. Interestingly. So now, how did you ask her out? A lot of people would go carry their, you know, spouse go maybe beach, they go nida, put flower, do things. So, propose, yeah, propose. How did you propose to her? And then the first time, okay, before we before we get there, the first time you, the first time when I meet, your mind no, your mind no gigi gigi. Um, gigi gigi. <laughs> Like the first time you are meeting physically as uh, outside Facebook. Well, my mind did not do gigi. I don't know what your gigi is anyway. But my mind was, I was excited actually. Wow, okay. Mm, because like I said, the connection had been there before we even met. So, um, just meeting physically actually uh, complemented all that. I've already, we have already, ha we have already talked about and um, what we've seen. So, it was easy to. Um, it was a. It was the, you were eager to see us. Yeah. Exactly, that's the word. So, that, so it was not really about. The, um, there was really no. Let me not use. Of course, there were surprises, but it was not like it was not as though there was uh, any um, special descent to the scene anyway. But of course, it was. It was very. It was very important and very necessary. Were, were you eager to see him? Yeah, very well. I was eager to see him. Yes. <laughs> So, when you now saw him? The first time we, we now saw physically. Yes. The first time we saw physically, I told myself, I said, I was not going to, you know, pretend and I was not going to, you know, just make him not know who he really wants to come and meet. So, I told myself I was going to do everything I do. Everything he has seen online. Yes, he's going to see it physically. So, in fact, some things I even, because I told myself, I don't want a man that will, you know, cut me off from some things that I know I like as a person that I do. They are not bad things, actually. So, on the first meeting, you know, I was clothed on, you know, trouser. I had my makeup on. In fact, I had the long nails because 
I wanted to hear from him. I wanted to know if he was not just pretending to like those things. I wanted to see his comments on those things. So I had to use all of those things that I used. So and you know when he saw me as I was coming, when he saw me, you know, he was he just stood up. You know like <laughs> it tree, I mean, where? Yes, it was at an e tree. So what he said was immediately I saw you, the baby in me leaped for joy. You know? <laughs> Jesus. The baby in you. <laughs> Bros, when you go born. Okay, now that even <laughs> Really? Yes. That was the word he said to me. So I saw that he was happy to see me as much as I was also happy to see him. Wow. Wow. A lot of men will not like ah ah waiting be this, waiting be this. So that means you like what you saw. Definitely, definitely. What I saw was as real as what I saw online. There was no fake, there was no parchment to it. Okay. Now, this one is very important. A lot of people, uh, just because uh, they look for wife, they will go man thing. Three more prayer and fasting, blah, blah. Just because of husband and wife. Now, did you pray about her? Of course, I prayed randomly. And um, the desire for a wife has not even just been about... Um, I've been praying since, like, years back. So it's not just about... So her coming was an answered prayer. <laughs> you understand so we're just talking about it so i had my own preferences so having discussed those prayers like i used to say uh, or rather the way i do is that i don't believe in i don't necessarily believe in just um um saying i believe in friendship that's the word so in fact before we actually get more got more serious it was friendship we started on with at least for a week there about yeah so that was where we had we discussed about purpose and all that to be sure that this is exactly the kind of person that i that was on my preference and she too was also she needed to be sure and all that so to so that we not we don't just waste our time mm-hmm. so, so now did you have the picture of the kind of woman you wanted to marry there? like the picture this is the kind of woman I, yes yes of course i i did and when you saw her exactly it was a, it was the exact representation of god <laughs> Hey, well, okay, I uh, I know the pray. and uh, some people they see their wife of dream. They say that where they draw where, so a woman can come, come, come help them. So <laughs> <laughs> like I said to so that, I prayed and I had the discernment that I was going to meet my spouse online. You know, that was what you know. That was the assurance I had. Okay, you had the discernment that you are going to meet your spouse online. Yes, online. I was so specific about it, and the first day we spoke to on phone i told him a word i said this is my beloved son in whom i'm well pleased with that was the scripture i told him oh i know you just met my ass now <laughs> okay now we are we we are about to, to round up now a, a lot of people will believe that uh, these people now they are still young now uh, no there's no matter without challenge you do you understand so can we briefly talk about like one and a half years now? What has been those uh, challenges you faced in this marriage? Okay, um, challenges of course. Personality wise, um, I'm not really. I'm not really. I'm kind of the um, in quote the introvert kind. She's the extrovert. You know, that person. So you know, there will always be. I want this. I don't want this. So and. Um, so sometimes those personality things will clash most times okay where she wants it done right now <laughs> she wants it done right now me i want to calm down and relax <laughs> like why are you take it what are you thinking about you know so those kind of things sometimes we cause us to sometimes disagree okay like i say disagree to agree so we argue over some things as we get making decisions maybe financial decisions or a certain decisions and all that so those things sometimes would cause glitches here and um so those personalities sometimes too um kind of affect you know and all that she's a i'm a early riser i, I think she she sleeps um, she sleeps late i sleep early so sometimes i'll have to be like ah, go and sleep now you know <laughs> sleep you not sleep i'm not saying you cannot sleep for you have to wait you have to wait for me for you to sleep you know those kind of things so 
And if you don't wait for her, it will look at her, you don't make our operation as even slaves so that we can even be together. <laughs> those kind of you feel like tomorrow is another one like you know the problem and all that. So those kind of things would you know cause um you know rift here and there sometimes. <laughs> you know, so but it's a beautiful thing. But those you know, those things here and there will just uh, make uh, hey, those personality differences exactly. Oh your side challenge. Yeah, like you said, it's personality differences, actually. Mm. Yes, because, like you said, it's more of the introvert and I'm more of the... <laughs> I am more of the outgoing person. And sometimes I'm talking and my husband is just quiet. And I'm like, why are you quiet? Like, I expected you to give me a response. I'm talking now, you should, you know, like, swift response. But it's more of somebody that wants to, you know... After I've said everything, he wants to go back and go and think about it and come back in the next maybe two days if I've not asked. And in my head, I'm already thinking that why can why would somebody you know say is going to go and think about something before you should be able to you know those are the things that <laughs> those are the things that you know actually cause. Um, um, our differences and like you said on the sleeping part yes he sleeps early while I sleep sometimes I'm even talking I'm even gisting with him my husband is asleep and I'll be like, uh, sweetest he will not say okay okay but okay is not supposed to be the response for what I'm talking about here so he wants to just say okay okay so that for me to believe that he was listening meanwhile what I said you know it's just like I'm saying a, and you're supposed to respond back with B. Me, while you're now saying K, you know it doesn't. So I was like, ah, ah. so you are asleep. <laughs> and I go confess you like it. You understand? So okay. those are the. <laughs> uh, that's that's very interesting. Now uh, we are we are getting to the <clears throat> end of the program now. Now I want to ask you that if your if your wife is angry, hmm? be sincere. If she's angry now, how do you know? How do you always know that? Ah. My wife is angry. Mm. What is she gonna do? It's, all, it's written over her face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's, it's written all over her face now. Yeah. The mood will change, you know, nah. the conversation. You know, we're always talking. Okay. We're always talking whenever we're in the house or we're together. So you just the, the tone of um, discussion, you just do that this thing, there's no vibes, the vibe is slow, you know, the vibe the vibing is not there. So you just do that why is he not talking? Why is he not there? you know that she's always talking? Yeah. <laughs> and when she's not talking, you know that's oh, voila. <laughs> voila <t-shirt. laughs> okay, now, So when you now detect that now, how do you how do you come out? How do you bring her down? Okay, sometimes the Holy Spirit helps me to maybe remember try to make me remember maybe what i said in a certain way that i didn't say where so maybe instead of me just trying to argue or just i just say okay babe i'm sorry about xyz i said i shouldn't have said it this way i'm sorry you know so That's if you know say now because of that yeah exactly or maybe sometimes i just ask her you know let's just talk about it too so i use that um, tactic too most times let's just talk about it ask and all that that if i cannot even remember above my head that uh, maybe i did get something where you know go can't go can't uh. Uh, your, your husband is a gentle guy. So if he's angry, eh, how do you know that he's angry? <laughs> if my husband is angry, uh, how you will know is that he will now become more quiet mm-hmm. than before. Even than before. He's a quiet person actually. But he now becomes he's more quiet. And be doing things on his own, you know. Then I'll be sensing that, oh, I know that I'm the talking, talking person in the house, I know, but uh, this quiet is now extra. You won't see it in his face, actually, but it's just quiet. Like still water. It's just quietness. He can just go and sleep. Mm. So can what do you can't do? So when I notice stuff like that, what I'll now do is that I'll now say, sweetest, can we have a conversation? Because I'm always talking. So, and since I don't have one to talk to in the house again, there's so I have to now call a meeting and say, please, let's talk. So uh, what happened? What did I do? Then if he's able to, of course, he would tell me what I did. I did so, 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 and so then I will say, I am very sorry. I shouldn't have done that. This is what I will do better next time. So that's how we resolve conflicts, actually. So after that, sorry, what's it going on? 
Anything that I want to happen can happen. Yes. Okay, we can never say. Eh, boss. Lastly, lastly, like, uh, who should apologize first? Either you are wrong, or maybe you are the one at fault, or you are not the one. Like, between couple, who should apologize first? Regardless, uh, the person that uh, is wrong. I think the mature person should. The mature person. Yes, the mature person. So I do not know. Uh, uh, they also, you know, depends on. <laughs> So I won't be able to say it's a gender thing really. <clears throat> because sometimes the, the man may may the woman may. You understand? So the matured one should actually should take the step and you know apologize. If you are at fault now. Okay, if you are not at fault, can you apologize first? If I'm not at fault, I can apologize first. Are you sure? I know that I do that. Yes. It's very interesting. Okay, uh, <laughs> I think I have to. Uh, okay, uh, people. Last night, a lot of people want to know where you where you are from. Okay, I'm from Lagos State. Lagos, where Lagos? Uh, um, Lagos Island. Lagos Island. Yes. Tony, brother, you. You got. I'm from Kogi State. Oh, uh, uh, now my sister. Uh, you say you are Kafa from Lagos to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show, and I believe that a lot of people have learned a lot, uh, bros. Thank you so much, uh, Afabi. Thank you so much, and uh, we the story very interesting. I want to thank you out there for sitting back to enjoy this uh, episode of Corpus Hangout. And uh, don't forget, if you have any question for them, please use the number you are seeing now. Uh, just say your question as SMS. We are going to forward the questions to them and they will do justice to it. Thank you, uh, my crew. Uh, Sanusi John uh, with me here. And uh, all our, our IT uh, guys, thank you. Uh, and uh, our Gakwata Kwata, uh, Edalai Ademokoya. Thank you so much. Admin, your boy, Franco Luka Adejon, a.k.a. Omoyan, the evangelist of comedy, anointed with Pamoy, MC, commander of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, I say, the next Sunday, and uh, okay, uh, I'm not sure, but you know, say the co- convention preparation don't start to, and I believe uh, you are coming for the convention. And uh, so, if you are, we are able to come on Sunday, you go see me. If you don't see me, let me say, I don't come. So, till then, uh, God bless you. Bye bye. Marriage is a real. Now for 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 marriage is a real. Now